Praise the Lord. I appreciate God Almighty, a merciful God. The God of God, the omnipotent God, the the everlasting King. I worship your holy name. I reference you. Thank you for who you are. Thank for the new month. Thank for the great things you return to it. We hallow your holy name in the name of Jesus. I welcome you all to Giga Hawa of today. And I trust God for the best to manifest in this meeting today. I welcome the great man of God. I thank everyone. I acknowledge you. I believe God and I believe and trust heaven for you. May you have wonderful things to celebrate in the name of Jesus. To the great man of God, I say happy birthday to you, sir. May you are not in ever run dry in the name of Jesus. Today we are going to speak briefly on manifesting in a new glory. Manifesting or operating in a new glory. And I want a Bible passage in the book of Corinthians chapter 15. First Corinthians chapter 15. I am going to read the first, just the first day. First Corinthians chapter 15. I'm reading from verse 41. The Bible says, The sun has one kind of splendor, the moon another, and the stars another, and the stars differ from star in splendor. Praise the Lord. From the fashion of the Bible. When you look at other Bible fashion, like King James Fashion is telling us, there are different kinds of glories. The glory of the sun is different from the glory of the moon. The glory of the moon is different from the glory of the stars. And stars have different splendor. And what do we mean by glory? And how best can we define glory? And what is glory? That is the first thing we need to look at and to address. What is glory? Glory, it depends on the way you have the understanding. It can mean a lot of different things to different people. But today, glory, I define glory as a kind of high honor that you gain from your great achievements. A kind of honor that is bestowed on you for a success. Or in the other way around, when you glow or a light that appears around the head of a holy person, when you say a saint, like when Jesus Christ was baptized before John the Baptist, the Bible says, and there was a dove that rested on his head. It is a kind of glory that mere sin, it indicates this unholy person. Glory is a manifestation of stars that are in you. The Bible says the sun has one kind of splendor. The moon another and the stars another and stars differ from stars in splendor. There are different kinds of bodies stony when you look at it critically. Different kind of bodies are out there. When you look at the body of a fish, it's different from the body of a human being. It's different from the body of an animal. So that's the best way to define glory. So glory, they are I mean they are different in nature. The way you manifest a glory, the way heaven will celebrate you, the way human beings will celebrate you, is your glory defined. It's your glory of a self made. One basic thing I want you to have the understanding is that you are created a unique by God. You are not Mr. A. God created you as an entity. Your own entity is not the same with others. There's no how anyone can emulate or imitate you. They can never be your person. So also, there's no way you try to copy cast someone. You can never be that such a person. Because there's a gene in you 
that no one in the whole world, even twins, identical twins, they don't share the same gene, they don't have the same, because particularly you that are hearing or listening to me or play this message now, you are unique, God created unique in your own capacity. And once you are created in the capacity where God have, I mean, created you, it means you must manifest uniquely. It means you can function or you can show your own light in a wonderful way without taking light or without hindering another person. An attempt to manifest or to function in another one's glory is where problems lies. And these are the reason why the so-called believers is like we are not, I mean, we are not experiencing what God intends for one's life. Because I, you want to be like others, you want to be like Mr. A, you want to be like Mr. C. It is good to copy, to learn something good, but you should be able to identify your own glory. Every glory contains a different knowledge in the manifestation. Every glory, the way God created you, the way you speak, the way you understand. So before some people, you speak a parable or a proverb. They interpret it into different kind of, and it is you, you will tell them, that is not what I mean. So that is exactly how glory looks like. Your glory is different, but you need the understanding of God to be able to act and to function in that your glory. Psalm 45 verse 2. Psalm 45 verse 2. The Bible says you are fairer than the children of men. You are fairer than different, I mean, children of men. So meaning God created you uniquely. You are not A, you are not B. It doesn't matter how things are going. You should look at yourself as a classical creation of God. You should look at yourself that you carry a glory that others don't carry. You have a kind of glory, you have a kind of anointing that others doesn't have. If you are called into the ministry of healing and power, you should discover it and work in that realm, that office. If your own calling is into teaching, try as much as possible to develop, I mean to discover, develop yourself and be granted in that office of your teaching. Don't delve into another area. What you are not good at. When Moses was on an assignment, he told God categorically, God, you know, I am not eloquent. I am a stammerer. It may be difficult for me to relate your message rightly before, the, before your people. But God told him, don't worry. I am going to send someone who is going to be your mouthpiece. I mean, mouthpiece. He will be able to interpret on your behalf. So Moses knew his limits. You must know your words. You must know your value. When you place a value on yourself and you understand that one, you will not have problem in manifesting in the glory whereby God has created you to be. Don't compare yourself. You must not compare yourself with others. No comparison in this journey of life. Because there is a common saying, they say the sky is spreading, is wide enough for birds to fly without them eating other. Don't compare. You don't hinder others. You don't stop others. But just see yourself that I am created uniquely. And I don't care. I want to manifest in that realm. I believe God for someone. Have you discovered that you are uniquely created? You will manifest in that glory in the mighty name of Jesus. When you want to shine, ensure you stay within your orbit for you to be able to shine lighter. If you want to shine in another one's orbit, your light may be dimming, may not be brighter enough, but ensure that you show forth that glory in you, that capacity deposited in you, manifest in that realm, manifest in that glory. Let you, I mean, yourself discover yourself that I am good at this and I want to be granted. It is then your star will shine. People, they will see, they will say, no, I don't know this one is as gifted as this. But when you want to borrow from left, you want to borrow from right, you want to combine everything together, your light may not shine brighter as ought to be. I believe God for you. You will shine brighter in the name of Jesus. You need to excel in your uniqueness. You can excel. It's a matter of determination. When you determine that in this my office, I want to, I will excel. 
I will go further. I will go to the pinnacle of my of my career. You will get there. You will excel. But when you are doubting yourself, we are shifting blame. We are moving from one place to another. It, you may find it very difficult. I believe God for you. You will excel in totality in the name of Jesus. I want you to work on your abstracts. For you to excel, for you to manifest in that glory, you need to work your, on, on your abstract. And what do I mean by your by abstract? It is your thinking, your rainy thinking, your thought that is yet to manifest. The idea you have that is yet to manifest, to see physically. You need to work on that. You have a very laudable dream. You work in that. It is unique. That particular thing you are thinking of that you can do, you can do it and you can do it better. You walk around that office and when you do that, who tell you that you are going to fail? You will never fail in the mighty name of Jesus. The glory of God is available 24-7. The glory of God is available 24-7. Provided you see it and you claim it. But many people, while you are wandering away, you wander away and you deviate from the glory of God. Glory of God, like I said, is available 24-7. It is true that you wake up to that light. It is inbuilt of a thing. It is within you. You can excel in it without failing. You, will, uh, you can excel it in the glory of that God Almighty. Brethren, you need to wake up to that. Claim your glory, claim your rights, and you will excel in the mighty name of Jesus. Because why? I know you are designed for God's glory. I say for being alive today, you are designed for God's glory. And once you are designed for God's glory, you cannot fail. And I don't want you to fail. Tell yourself, I won't fail and I will not fail. I will excel. I am not going to, I don't want to function in another man's office. I want to excel. I want to function into that office whereby God has created me. Let's look, let's look into the word of God. Romans chapter 8, even as we are about to pray. Romans chapter 8, verse 18. What does the Bible say? Romans chapter 8, verse 18. I want you to work on this. I want you to go with this scripture to be able to encourage yourself so that what you are passing through today or whatever is happening today is not a determinant. I mean, it shouldn't be a determinant factor of your tomorrow. Romans chapter 8, verse 18. The Bible says, excuse me, the Bible says, I, I read verse 17 alone. Now, now, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God, and co heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings, in order that we may also share in his glory. Verse 18. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Praise the Lord. So, when you look at yourselves and you know that God has created you uniquely, you will look into your future. You will not allow today to determine your future. You don't allow your present circumstances to determine your next level. You will know that you are a glory carrier. And once you are a glory carrier, you should be expert in this. And your glory, I mean, your, 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 your inbuilt will showcase you to the entire world, into your generation. And you leave a good legacy behind. May you manifest in the glory of God in the name of Jesus. I want you to thank God Almighty. Say, Lord, I thank you. Because I can see and I can discover now that it does not matter my status, it does not matter my complexion, it does not matter my background, I carry a glory. God, I thank you. I may not know before that I have a glory. God, but today I have discovered that I have a glory. Lord, I thank you. Thank God Almighty for the glory of God in you. Thank God Almighty that Lord, I thank because I, I know today I carry a glory. Lord, I appreciate you. In Jesus' name mighty name we have prayed. I want you to talk to God. Say, Father, your glory in me. Oh Lord, my Father, your intent for my life, reveal it now. If you discover the glory of God, if, if God gives you that revelation about the glory concerning your life, you will see that life journey will be easier for you. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, reveal your glory in me. Reveal your glory in, in the glory of my marriage. Reveal your glory in the life of my children. In the name of Jesus, talk to God Almighty. Say, Lord, reveal your glory in me. Reveal your glory to me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because oh, you can see this in the book of Abaku. Abaku talk about it. Abaku chapter 3, verse 4. It's talking about the sun. How the sun is so shining. It's blazing its own orbit. Ask God Almighty, reveal to me 
Give me that revelation about your glory for my life that I will not be dwindling. I will not go otherwise. I will remain focused. And I know definitely I'm going to shine in my glory. I pray for you out there. You will shine in your glory. Today, tonight particularly, God will reveal His glory in you in the mighty name of Jesus. The glory of that relationship, you're coming together as husband and wife. There's, a, there's an eternal glory in that relationship. I pray God will make manifest that glory in that your relationship in the mighty name of Jesus. You are not just married for marriage's sake. There's something God wants to take out of it. I pray unto God Almighty that glory in you shall be revealed in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want you to talk to God. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, let me see and experience your glory. Oh Lord, my Father, let me see and experience your glory. If you see the glory of God and you're able to experience it, that's something wonderful. Moses caught the glory of God Almighty. He never remained the same. He came down from the mountain and the people, they cannot behold his eye because that glory was too much on him. Ask God, Father, let me see your glory and experience it. I don't want to remain same. Let my situation see that glory in me and let them begin to give way. When the glory of God manifests in your life, you will become a solution to all problems. People, they want to be attentive to you. People, they want to hear what you have to say. In fact, when you are even making error, people, they assume it that you are correcting them. Ask God, say, Father, reveal your glory in me. Let me see your glory and let me experience it in the mighty name of God. In Jesus' name, I pray. One thing again, it is you, you determine and you ask. Moses demanded to see the glory of God. He desired, he desired it and he said, God, let me see your glory. In the book of Exodus chapter 33 verse 18, Exodus chapter 33 verse 18, he demanded for the glory of God and his life never remained the same. Ask God, Father, I want to see your glory. I dream of it and I demand for it to Lord. Place and release your glory upon me. Release your glory upon my family. Release your glory upon my ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, when you carry the great glory of God, it corrects errors. Where you make mistakes, you are bound to be corrected. And everything will turn to your people. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, make me your glory carrier. In the name of Jesus, I am praying with you all today. You will become a, a, a God's glory carrier. You will carry God's glory into all nooks and crannies of the whole world. The whole world, they will hear of you. They will hear of the wonders of God in your life. They will hear of the wonders of God in the life of your children. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Ask God, say, Lord, my Father, let me understand the riches of your glory. My Father, my Father, let me understand. You know, when I talk the riches of God, I'm talking the opposite of poor. Say, Father, let me experience and see the riches of your glory. God is so rich in glory. When you see and experience the riches of glory, you, are, you have no limit, you have no bound. Ask God Almighty, my Father, my Father, let me see ex and experience the riches of your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you are wonderful, you are glorious in holiness. Father, let me just exhibit a little bit of your rich richness in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I want you to talk to God. The Bible says, can we continue in sin and expect the grace to abound? He said, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Ask God, Lord, cut short anything and everything that will not allow my glory to shine in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, my Father, destroy everything that will, that will cut short your glory in my life in the name of Jesus. Pray, ask God, anything whatsoever. Is it your attitude? Is it your anger? Is it the way you talk to people? Is it the way you address an issue? Ask God, Father, anything that will cut short your glory in my life today. In the mighty name of Jesus, some people, it is their attitude that will not allow them to get to their promised land. It could be anger. When anger overpowers you, the spirit of anger will, will run over you. Someone misbehave. Look at the case of Moses by the, by, 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 by the, by the rock. He asked God, and God told him to, command, to speak to the rock to bring water for the people. But in an anger, you know, he, he destroyed, the, he, he, he struck the, 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 I mean, the rock, and the water gushed out. Look at the situation. He came down from in the presence from presence of God, and while he was coming down from Mount Oreb, he saw Aaron and the people. They was already celebrating another God in anger. He never knew 
when he threw down the Ten Commandments, God gave him, as God Almighty today, anything that will disturb or cut short, or that will hinder my glory, or that will hinder me from getting, cutting my glory, Father, in the name of Jesus, destroy them. Destroy them, destroy them, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray unto God Almighty. Everybody has a challenge, but some people's challenge are their fundamental error. Ask God, Lord, in your, in your mercy, please destroy anything and everything before me that will not allow me to manifest in that glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brethren, I want you to talk to God. There are, stolen, there, are, there, are, there, are, there are glory stealers. Ask God Almighty, my Father, my Father, today, by the reason of the mercy, I recover all my lost glory. All my stolen glory, I recover them all in the name of Jesus. Some people, they've started well. Some people, they are great. I mean, they, 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 they have a greater future. But in between, their glory was stolen. Ask God Almighty, say, my Father, my Father, Today, with the help of mercy, I recover my stolen mercy. I recover my stolen grace. I recover my stolen glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, I join my hands to pray with you, brethren. I join my hand to pray with you, sister. Your stolen glory is to restore back to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, your stolen, your stolen glory, I command in the name that is above every other name. They are restored back to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, what you have been doing in the past and you are on name function in it to you know today. I speak to your spirit today, begins to function optimally in the mighty name of Jesus. You will no longer go down. That shall never be your portion. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, you have prayed. Ask God Almighty. Every stranger that is stealing your glory, ask God to send them. Remember the word of God says, He said, Every tree that my father have not planted. It shall be uprooted and cast into lake and cast into fire. Ask God, every stranger in my life, every stranger in my body, every stranger that is stealing my glory, that particular thing that is stealing my glory, ask God today, expose them and deal with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, deal ruthlessly with the stranger that is stealing my glory on a daily basis. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you today. I join my faith with you and I join my utterances with you that all stranger, every stranger in your life that is stealing the glory of your family, of your children, I command today in the mighty name of Jesus, let them be exposed and as God exposed them, let them be disgraced out of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are there, you sleep, you dream when you are about to have a breakthrough, a stranger will visit you in a dream and that will be the end of that result. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, every stranger that is disrupting the manifestation of your glory, God shall chase them out of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Why not ask God Almighty, say, Oh Lord my Father, Oh Lord my Father, I repel every arrow shot from the grave to my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, Oh Lord my Father, I repel every arrow shot from the grave into my destiny, into my stars, into my glory, in the mighty name of Jesus. In not share what we are saying, that every power, every power that want to bring down your glory, that have been sent from the kingdom of darkness, or from marine spirit, today, bring them down, in the name of Jesus. Say, I attack them, I send back to sender. It will not work out in your life. Some people, for them to be, for them to get them to lose focus, they send I mean, they will send something that distracts them. Ask God today, I repel every arrow, or every arrow, cut me from the kingdom of the mighty name of Jesus. Remember the word of God, say, oh, hey, where is your sting? So ask God, you grave, where is your power over me? You don't have victory over me. Today, whatever that I've been shot, those that gather against me, against my destiny, I rise against them in judgment. Because the Bible says, no weapon for me against me shall prosper. And that every tongue that rises against me, judgment I will condemn. I join my, I join forces with you, and with the word of heaven, I condemn every power that want to disturb or tear your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter sixty, verse one. 
Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. The Bible says, Arise, shine, for your glory come. Ask God, say, Oh Lord, my Father, my stick, my stick, my sinking glory, arise and shine. My sinking glory, arise and shine. In the mighty name of Jesus. You have once become you are once a celebrity, but it's like this day now, you are no longer. Or paradox your people that love you. They, are, they, they started to destroy, to develop hatred towards you. Ask God Almighty, say, my father, my father, let my day doing, doing this uh, uh, glory begin to shine. My doing this glory come out alive now. Begin to shine according to the word of God. The Bible says, arise, shine, for your glory come. Ask God, my glory come, my glory will never go down. The glory of my children will never go down. The glory of my wife will never go down. The glory of my household will never go down. The glory of my spiritual children will never go down. In the mighty name of Jesus, every forces that are hindering my glory from being shining, I speak the word of light to it. Let light overshadow every darkness in my life. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Every bit of darkness in your life, because light does not take permission from darkness to shine. I pray you don't need excuse, you don't need permission from anyone to shine. I say today, begin to shine in the power of your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are a light carrier. You don't need to beg darkness for you to shine. I pray, no matter how minute the appearance of a light, it overshadow and light darkness. I mean, receive. I pray for you today. You will excel. You will shine. You will shine. You will shine in glory. You will shine in that office. Your family will shine. Your children will shine. Your husband will shine. Your wife will shine. In your ministry, you will shine. In the you will shine in the name of Jesus. Mighty name we have prayed. I want you to ask God. Ask God Almighty. You know, when you look at the life of uh, 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 Prince Eli, he was doing well, perfectly well before God until when he lost uh, challenges over his children. He couldn't. And God, uh, God caused the glory in that lineage to disappear. One particular day, there was the glory departed the entire the lineage of Eli. And they say, a, a grandchild that was born, the name in remembrance of what happened, Escabol. Ask God Almighty, say, Oh Lord, my father, I, I mean, wipe off every spirit of Escabol in my life. The glory disappeared, the glory departed. Lord, it will never be my portion. Everything that I intend to wipe off the glory of my family, everything that I intend to wipe off the glory that, I, that, that, that you have sent before me, Lord, to give them all by mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you. Your glory will not depart. I say your glory will not depart. Your glory will not disappear. In the mighty name of Jesus, you begin to function in that your glory. Any power that wants to suppress your glory, I challenge them today. In the mighty name of Jesus, because you are a glory carrier, you cannot, the, light, the Bible says, you cannot light a candle and put it under bushes. It won't, it, won't, it won't shine that far. I pray for you, because you are a glory carrier, you must shine beyond where you even thought of. Your fame must spread abroad for good in the name of Jesus. This particular month, a month of marching forward, you will march forward in glory. You will march forward in success. You will march forward in every goodness of life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want you to pray unto God Almighty. Ask God, Lord, incubate, incubate and fertilize in my destiny. When God resides in your destiny, nothing can hinder, nothing can stop you from shining. Ask God Almighty, I don't just want you, Holy Spirit, to release my destiny. I want you to incubate me and I want you to fertilize my glory, my destiny. Let me uh, uh, shine others. The Bible says, from my Bible passage, it says, difference is the glory of the sun. It says, difference is the glory of the moon. Difference is the glory of the stars. Many one outshine others. Though they have different functions, ask God Almighty. I want to shine. I want to shine beyond where we are at a level where people have written me. Where people are looking at me. They say, wow. He just spoke a word and there was miracle. He just speak a word and there was testimony. Ask God Almighty, help me, O God of heaven, to I mean to, to shine. To shine more than what I talked of in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ask God Almighty. Through the help of the Holy Spirit, oh Lord, my Father, let me arise, let me rise, let me overtake, and let me, I mean, let me establish in my own kingdom in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, let me arise, 
Let me, let me overtake and let me establish my own kingdom. In the name of Jesus, ask God Almighty. You have a kingdom. It is in your kingdom that your, your star will shine. It is your kingdom that you manifest your glory. You cannot manifest in another man's glory. You cannot manifest in another ma 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 man's matter. Ask God Almighty. It does, there is no way you become a copycat. You can never be the original. Ask God Almighty. Oh God, help me. Help me to overtake and to establish my own kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus, when your kingdom is being established, you have no failure. You have nothing to stop you. Ask God, Lord, I want to function in my office. I want my palace to be built. And I want my kingdom to come. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, let that kingdom come. Say, God, let my kingdom come. My kingdom is where you give an instruction. My kingdom is whereby you'll be able to. It's like when you take fish out of water. When you take fish out of water, it can't function. It will be it will lifeless. But the moment you still have life in it, and you release it to water, immediately you get into the water, you will see that it swims away. Ask God, Father, I don't want anything to take me out of my kingdom. Let my kingdom be established. Let my kingdom come, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful daddy. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ask God. I want you to talk to God. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, don't give access to my destiny inquirers. There are some, you know, when you are on Facebook, some people, no matter what you post on Facebook, no matter what you write, no matter what you put down there, some people, they will never, they will never like it. They will never comment on your, on your page. They will never comment on your wall. But they always go there to spy. Put and look at your at your profile. Ask God. There are some people they are probing into your destiny in order to harm you. They are probing into the destiny of your children in order to take a step to hinder their 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 glory from being shining. Ask God. See, even I command you today, don't give access to those that are making evil access, evil inquiry about my destiny. In the name of Jesus, ask God, Lord, today. I pray in the name that is above every other name. Don't give permission to those that are probing into my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. As many evil, evil probers that are probing into your destiny, that they want to know your destiny, they want to know the next level, they want to know the next phase of your life. I pray everyone will not cooperate with them any longer. In the name of Jesus, what you have labored to gather together shall not be scattered by the evil carrier. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ask God, speak. I want you to have the understanding. The earth have ear. You can hear when you speak to it. Ask God, say, O oh, earth, I speak to you today. Refuse to answer power probing into my glory. All those power that goes into the earth to dig out your genesis, where your umbilical cord is being buried. Ask many power that they want to dig it out. In order to hold you, ask God, O oh, earth, O oh, earth, hear the word of God. Don't cooperate with any power that are digging into my destiny. They want to know the extent of my destiny. In order to harm me, I pray for you that any power that is probing into the destiny of my children, heaven and earth will disappoint them. They will not cooperate with them in the name of Jesus. Declare, pray for your spouse, pray for your children. You are doing well in your marriage. Certain power they want to know the secret of your success in order to cause crisis in that home. Ask God any power or every power that are digging into the success and to the joy of my marriage, into the joy of my family and that of my home. Everyone will not complain with you. Help will not complain with you. You can never see the secret of my success in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful daddy. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Finally, I want you to talk to God Almighty. There are, there are innocent, may, maybe in your generation, maybe there are innocent blood that have been shared by your ancestors and is affecting you from, 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 from being shiny. Ask God today, by mercy, stop all those, I mean, innocent blood that have been shed by my ancestor and is now affecting me. In the mighty name of Jesus, say by mercy, I stop such in the name of Jesus. Every blood, every power, every spirit, that are asking for a vengeance over my destiny. The Bible says he will visit the iniquity of the Father from the Son and from the I mean from the fourth generation to fourth generation. But all those uh, offenses and the generation past that is now asking vengeance over you. Ask God, Lord, 
by your mercy. I pray today, stop search in the name of Jesus. Like someone said, he said, why does God allow, I mean, why, 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 why God allow people to suffer when David took a head count? I mean, ask God Almighty, any mistake of the past that is one that I want to manifest in your life, in the life of your children, in the life of your family, in the life of your spouse or your household, thank God today, by mercy, stop them. Because the Bible says, mercy prevail over judgment. Let mercy prevail over the judgment of my life. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I join my forces with the force of heaven. And I pray for somebody today. You will excel in glory. Your glory will never go down. In the name of Jesus. No costly mistake you will take that will render your glory unshining. In the name of Jesus, you will move from glory to glory, from ladder to ladder, from step to step. In the mighty name of Jesus, that shall be your loss. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. I thank God for the privilege to pray today. I want you to work on yourself and I want you to look at yourself, study yourself. Go on a journey. See where you have missed it. Are you the same person of yesterday? Are you the same? Are you, are, are you still yourself? What have become of you that you are no longer shiny? The people that are, you know it's like a dog, a dog that sees see you and is willing to, I mean, willing the tail. And when he sees you next time, he's not backing, say you must not pass. There's some more, something is wrong along the line. Ask, check yourself, examine yourself. Where have I missed it? What have I done wrong? So that your glory may be restored. And every story stole, stole those that are picking and pivoting your, uh, your glory, ask God Almighty to take them away from you, from your spouse, from your family, from your, 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 your beloved one. You used to do things in common, but things have turned the other way around. Ask God to turn them around in your favor. That shall be your portion, even in this new month of moving to the next level in the name of Jesus. And so far, so good. I appreciate you for your patience over this program. May your story continue to radiate new approach from heaven in the name of Jesus. In case you have a contribution, suggestion, idea, correction, or whatsoever, you can WhatsApp us through this phone number as projected on the screen. Plus one, six eight two 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 zero nine seven five zero. I take it again. Plus one, six eight two 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 zero nine seven five zero. Or maybe you send us an email through this number, Mercy Plus Ministries at gmail.com. Mercy Plus Ministries at gmail.com. Until we meet next time, the mere rapturable. May you manifest your glory in this new month in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you all. I remain your friends here. Until we meet next time. Hallelujah.